we have some Dream World OU battles so of the Dream World Israel tournament. So we have me against Zimbabwe. So he's going to lead off with Caesar. Obviously goes for U-turn because the switch is obvious. And now I switch to my T-Tar, knowing that he could level plum or fire blast or something like that. And now I'm going to set up my rocks as he goes for the taxi. Since there was no team preview, I really didn't know if he was he had another weather inducer. I just wanted to go for a pursuit since I was scared of switching to something else because he can toxic and would screw up some things. And I well, he was scared of the earthquake. I, I don't I don't need to judge this. What am I doing? So he's going to switch out into Rotom I think. Yes, he's going to switch out into Rotom. I pick the switch. I go for the scout and I get the scout burn, which is pretty good. And we were we were actually in Skype call while doing this. And I pick the trick and I go for my teacher since my teacher is useless already. Well, it's not useless, but it ha it has some status. And it's going to be pretty much useless now that it's poison and choice is carved. So yeah, I go. He switches into Caesar as I go for the earthquake. Um, I really wasn't expecting the Rodon thing. Uh, I don't know, Rodon can do can do anything to Gastrodon really. But yeah, I switch into Skarm as he goes for the heat train again. And this and I just go for the roost and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna switch and set up a layer of spikes between the toxic. Which he does, and next turn I think I'm going to switch break to that Lava Plume to Castrodon. No, into Titar. Well, that works. And <laughs> this turn I'm just letting die my Titar because, as I said before, it's useless. I, I don't need it for anything else. And I'm going to, I'm going to my Infernape. If he switches, I'm gonna get a sub. And now he's pretty much screwed. Well, his burn is screwed because since I'm faster, I had the Iron Fist. Uh, this sub punch in Fernape is pretty cool. I assure you, you'll have a good time using this. It's really, really good. And uh, here I do something stupid. I, I go for another sub. He bullet punches, and I go for another sub when I could have finished him up with a fire punch and have a little more health. But. I actually remember that I forgot that Scissor doesn't get hit by the sandstorm since he's still tight and I pretty much screwed at that point. But he's in he's in my team now. So he's going to get a dragon dance since he knows I'm I'm, I'm not gonna be able to do anything and I get a sub and the sub actually does a good chunk of damage considering he's he's resisted. And now he's going to finish me up with a Fire Punch since he is playing safe and fearing the Skarmory to come in. That was, and he, here he over predicts. Uh, he predicts me to go for the Gastrodon and go for the Outrage. But whatever. I, my, I thought my Skarmory could leave a Fire Punch. But I don't, I don't really know. Um, here I'm going to switch into Gastrodon, taking the Lava Plume. Not gonna risk it. Um, yeah, let's wait for him to make. No, I'm, we're waiting for him. Yes, I said he goes for the gastronaut. I mean, I go for the gastronaut, and he's going to do. But he said he should get, he should have done like ten or more turns ago. <laughs> Toxic that that gastronaut. And now he's going to Terrakion, and for his surprise, I'm going to let my Terrakion die. <laughs> because Draken already did his work, I, I don't know what he has, so I was feeling he doesn't have something like... I don't even know, but... He... I go for the Sand Slash, I, that was that earthquake was actually a misclick, I was going for the Sword Dance that turn. I was planning on going for the Sword Dance, but I, I went for the earthquake because I misclicked. And now, for my surprise, er, uh, Sandrush, Sandslash outspeeds Carpter Rakian. So I hope you enjoyed, see you later guys, bye.